Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will experiment a simple technique for a 3D effect with a jumping fish. First we draw the fish as normally, flat. The body with the fins, the tail, the eye, the gills from where they breathe and I switch lead in my 203 mechanical pencil for the harder one for the rest of the sketch. The water ripples here and now let's draw the piece of paper. I was going to do this by hand but uh, there is a great invention to make lines straight so let's use it. <laughs> Basically I will draw a surface which will be the piece of paper in perspective like so. Good. So, we will be looking at the fish straight on, but the paper will be in perspective. This should make the fish pop out. And additionally, by the end, we will cut the paper, so it will seem like the fish is jumping out of it. And let's draw the scales. We will first outline them, and then we will shape. By the way, I'm not sure if you like listening to podcasts. There is so much good information in some of them that I have become a bit addicted. <laughs> Often I listen to one of them while I am drawing to learn something new. And I just found a new one which immediately became my favorite. Because it is all about the future of art and the intersection between art and technology. It's very interesting. The name of the podcast is State of the Art. It is totally free, of course, and you can find it on iTunes. If you have some other art-related podcasts that you like a lot, please let me know in the comments. I am always interested in learning. Okay, good. So we drew the fish, and now inside of the surface that we outlined in perspective, let's draw the water. Some ripples, here, and I will draw some waves on this other side, some little waves, like so. Good! I like it how it is looking already. I smudge with a chamois and then draw some droplets. I smudged because I want all that surface to have a tone and not to be totally white so that the whites of the fish will stand out. All the water should be on grey tones, while the fish should be much more contrasting. Ok, we are nearly there, I just darken a little bit more, and now I will cut the paper with scissors, right on the line that we made, like this. And I will speed up the shots because I think this is not very fun to watch. <laughs> Once I put it down, we will be looking at it straight from above but it may look like we are looking at it from the side because of the shape of the paper. Let's try it on a blue background and see how it looks. Ok, good! Excellent! And I will just lift the corner of the paper. It's ready! Please let me know what do you think. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.